Divisional round of the playoffs. Falcons versus the Lions. The Lions are an 86 overall. They're improving at a remarkable rate. And, of course, we kind of saw it in real life as well this year, right? They made a really nice run. Amon Ross St. Brown was actually top of the league, top two or three. I think number three in receiving yards this year. Panay Sewell has emerged into being one of the top right tackles in the league. Of course, that is real life. This is Madden. But there's some crossover. Frank Rag now, Aiden Hutchinson, Greg Newsom is in Detroit now, as is former Falcon Grady Jarrett. We traded him to, uh, to Detroit. They brought in Mike Williams. This is a team that has changed a lot. And Eddie Sheed, this was one of their top draft picks, and he's already up to an 83 overall in his second year. Great man coverage, not so good in zone. Maybe we'll look to exploit that today. We do have upgrades, though, before we get into these playoff games. Jason Carrington going to hopefully get upgraded with his zone coverage here. Pushing that closer to an 80 would be really nice. Give me a plus three. I'll take it. Zone coverage now up to an 81. Quentin Drummond has really been coming on strong lately. This, of course, as a rookie, will be his first playoff games. He got recently upgraded to superstar development. However, unless we can somehow boost him up to an 80 overall in one upgrade here, we will not get another ability slot. And these current abilities really aren't especially good. I think I want medium route running more than anything. Getting his juke move crazy high would also be cool. Catching needs to be better. I'm going to do playmaker. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Awareness by one. Ball carry revision by two doesn't matter. Break tackle by one. Catching by one. Medium route running by two. Short route running and spin move also by one. I'll take that. Medium route running getting a boost, which is his major flaw right now if you have to pick anything. Agility is a 95. I wish we could see it on the field a little bit more. And maybe we've been trying to spin with him a little bit. It's an 84 spin move. Doesn't seem especially good this year, but we could give it a shot. And then Dylan Stanley is just good. I think I need block shedding to continue to go up. So run stopper. I'll just do field general. That kind of satisfies a lot of different requirements. Maybe tackling, block shedding pursuit. It's a good upgrade. Tackling into the 90s. Love to see it. Going into the playoffs, the main storyline is which quarterback do we play? Trey Lance or Jake Meeks? Do we go with the rookie or do we go with the guy that we've been developing? And to me, I think the choice is easy. But first playoff game here. Got to get through the Lions. We got a first round bye. We are in the divisional for a reason. We had a great regular season. We got our starting quarterback back. But oh my goodness, did I see that correctly? No way the Lions starting quarterback is Desmond Ritter. I didn't even check QB. Desmond Ritter is the Lions starting QB. Okay. We, we, have a, we have a revenge game going on. Brady Jarrett and Desmond Ritter. I forgot that we traded him to the Lions. Desmond Ritter is now back in the playoffs. But this time with Detroit. Oh, that's wild. His return to Atlanta. Lions start with the football. Here is the kickoff from Young Way Koo. It's surely going to be a touchback as there's really no opportunity for a return here. Hearns takes a knee down deep in the end zone. And Desmond Ritter, in his return to Atlanta, will take the field for the first time. This time, of course, not in Falcons uniform, wearing the Lions blue and white. It's interesting. I mean, here's what we have with Ritter, right? He is athletic. He does have star dev. He's got a big arm. He could cause us problems today. And he's getting the football out quickly, but not accurately. That's an incompletion. It's just blitz the hell out of him today. That could be a good way to do things. Oh, they're taking a shot down the field early. Jeff Okuda, good coverage, but not good enough. I thought that was going out of bounds at first. Amon Ross St. Brown is able to bring that back in. And stay in bounds. Ritter under some pressure from Arnold Ebicady. I guess that's a great throw, but it's a way better catch from St. Brown, who does get two feet down. Now throw over the middle. Of course, we went more shallow. The Lions are starting hot. Had an incompletion, but since then, 
We have two big chunk plays down the field. I think that's Cliff Hooks, young tight end for Detroit. Let's see if they even decide to run the ball here. Jameer Gibbs swallowed up. Dylan Stanley and Deshaun Humphreys back in the starting lineup. Of course, missed the last several weeks due to injury. I believe it was a torn labrum. He returns today, and our team gets significantly better. We're trying to find a way to tackle Jameer Gibbs, but we can't. Somebody take a better angle, please. Gibbs has an easy first down, and he's somebody we're going to have to really try and bottle up today. Electric speed and really, really stress your defense because he can get to the sideline, can get the outside very, very quickly. Here, it looks like a throwaway. A lot of first playoff games for a lot of rookies, of course, in this series for us. Rookies have been a big part of the team this year. Obviously, it's their first playoff game, I mean, but I'm saying there are a lot of rookies who do not have the experience. Dylan Stanley, Jose Carrington, Jason Carrington. All those guys, very young, very inexperienced. Uh, of course, Johnny Hamilton as well is a rookie, right? All start going to back up the Lions. I think Johnny Hamilton is a rookie because it was, yeah, it was Kyrie Yankee in year one. Was Johnny Hamilton in that class? I don't think so. How am I forgetting which class all my rookies are in as we try to cover that? Just a dart from Desmond Ritter. Sam Laporta into the end zone for the score. I mean, we weren't even supposed to be covering that with Dylan Stanley, but had the recognition to get over there. It was Deshaun Humphreys who was beaten coverage, but Stanley just doesn't jump for the ball, which, you know, no surprise there. No linebackers know how to leave the ground. And there are the numbers for Trey Lance. Did end up getting over 3,000 yards and 20 touchdowns despite missing a few games there at the end of the season. Jake Meeks did an up-and-down job filling in. Obviously had one of the most incredible games of all time. But going with Trey Lance here for the playoffs. But we know the offense runs through number seven. Bijan Robinson is the lifeblood of this team as a receiver and obviously as a runner. But he's already gassed. Algier going to fill in. Perfect time to work off play action. I like flipping this play around so we can really get Pitts up and down the field. Although Fitzpatrick is usually the one that comes open. We need Drake London to actually get to the outside here so we can snap the ball. Clock down to two seconds, but we do get it off. And Fitzpatrick is the one who ends up coming somewhat open and makes a nice catch in traffic as we're able to move the chains. First down and 10. Gonna throw to Kyle Pitts, but Lance under pressure cannot deliver accurately. Second and 10, could call this four down territory and just run the football given where we are in the field. Gonna try and pass though. I like the route from Neil Madsen. I'd like a catch even better. Dropped over the middle of the field. I mean, good recovery there by the uh, defensive back. I think that might've been Chauncey Gardner-Johnson who made the play or CJ Gardner-Johnson now. But I mean, I think we'll all agree that needs to be caught. Bijan, great route and a great catch down the sideline. Layered in there beautifully from Trey Lance. It's another first down as we try and attack them through the air. Massive gain of more than 25 yards. As Lance has a clean pocket. Good blocking from Jedrick Wills on the outside against Aiden Hutchinson. That's a matchup to watch today. But Brian Branch is not able to cover the wheel route out of the backfield from Bijan. And that is a big first down. Nice way to move the chains. And of course, we are into Detroit territory looking to answer their first possession touchdown. Here's Robinson looking for blocks, but finding his own cutback lanes and getting seven. Interesting route combo on the field. See how this ends up looking and just didn't read it quickly enough on that left side. I think there might have been a window to find somebody. We end up just throwing it away and avoiding uh, what might have been a sack or an interception. Forcing the ball into traffic is never a good idea. It's third and three. Let's go ahead and run the ball right back up the middle. And Bijan looks like he might have been stopped. Forward progress spots him a yard short. I thought we would have it there. Tried to use power as opposed to elusiveness. Fourth and one. CPU likes the call to go for it here. I'm, I'm inclined to agree, actually. Dan Campbell is aggressive. We're going to be aggressive right back. Bijan, there's enough power. And there is the first down. We didn't come all this way to come just this way, right? Or we didn't come this far to just come this far. We we came to win the game, and you do that by scoring touchdowns, not field goals. I know the irony of the Lions losing in the playoffs, the 49ers, after having a massive lead 
which many surmise that they choked it because they were too aggressive. I don't mind the calls. They had a drop from Josh Reynolds. Would have been a first down. You know, I, I think you play to win the game. We're going to try to throw this up the seam. Drummond had it in his hands but cannot hold on. And if everyone... Or everyone would have said he was a genius had it worked. And I don't think it's a low percentage play. And Michael Badgley, by the way, is not like a shoe in to, to kick a field goal through the uprights. He was like 12 of 17 on kicks from 45 to 47 yards, which is where it was on the field. And a first down in that spot on fourth and short has like a 50% conversion rate, something pretty good. A throw to the end zone for London. Great route. He got the feet down, and it's a score. Drake London, touchdown. Wish we could have seen the replay on that, and we're going to because there's a review. Did Drake London's feet come up early? That's the question, right? I think, I think they stay down. I think they did. Looks like we got the toe drag. Did the right toe get down? That'll be the question. Is there enough to overturn it? There is not. It's a touchdown. Drake London comes up clutch. Oh, under pressure, and the ball comes out. Deion Dobbins can't recover. It was Dylan Stanley on the blitz that got to Desmond Ritter. He forced the ball to the ground, but the rookie Deion Dobbins screaming in could not recover the football, and the Lions will hold on to the ball. They'll keep possession. That's devastating. That's devastating. That's a big-time turnover that really would put us in the driver's seat. That's the end of the first quarter. It is second and 23, so it's going to be very tough for the Lions to convert. But major missed opportunity because that's, I mean, even when we get a stop, still probably like 50 yards of field position because we're able to hold Gibbs to not much of a gain there, if anything. Third and 21. It's going to be a screen. We got numbers out there. Javon Holland just slows him down enough. We'll force the punt, but again, it's it's the field position game right now because they're going to end up getting us back to at least midfield, you would think. And yeah, what is that, like maybe 30 or 40 yards of field position? I think we would have recovered the ball around the 10, maybe around the 20. Hard to say, but we got a good return here from Rashid Shahid trying to get all those yards back, and he brings it out to the 50. First down and 10. We get that to Madsen. We just don't have the time. Needed to get the football out earlier. Hesitated for just a second, and that's what lost us that big gain because Madsen, I think, was going to come open. Let's run the ball here on second and 10. I know. I always complain about it, and then I find times to do it. But when you get blocks like that, why wouldn't you? Bijan down the sideline, stiff arming. And inside the 20 goes Bijan Robinson, 7 for 73 in an electric start for him. Nearly 100 total yards factoring in catches as well but the block from Quinton Drummond made everything happen on that play massive game Algiers a receiver rare but effective a little PA sprint out here I think we're just gonna take off with Trey Lance we got a block and we find the end zone Trey Lance runs it in for the touchdown and that is the way to take the lead and do the stanky leg on Desmond Ritter John Fitzpatrick there with a big block. I like the three tight end personnel. 13 personnel can be very effective, especially you can see the block there from Fitzpatrick. Didn't hold on to it for very long. Thankfully, Trey Lance ran it into the end zone quickly enough. But that's 14-7, way to capitalize off the punt. And we'll look to do it again. Who's this white? Is this Derek Watt again? Ugh. Who let the cracker out of the box, dude? I mean, I guess I prefer that to Jameer Gibbs. He's their starting running back right now, essentially. This isn't a fullback. He's just in for Jameer Gibbs. We're gonna run an end. Is that another former Falcon, Cordero Patterson? I think it was KJ Osborne, actually. I saw the 84. I can't remember what happened to Cordero. I think we traded him. But I think the back of that jersey said Osborne, so I don't know. Why is Derek Watt causing problems? This is crazy. That's crazy. I mean, we tried to shed the block. It, it's Derek Watt. Four rushes for 53 yards. All we did there was try to shed a block. Completely gave up the middle of the field. And they're just keeping him in. Is Jameer Gibbs hurt? Am I missing something? I mean, either way, now I don't try to shed the block. And 
and you get bodied. They're just dominating us up the middle. They run the ball up the middle every time, and it's been effective. We can't stop it. Play action, throw over the middle, and dropped. 74. Doesn't really look like an O-lineman. Certainly an O-lineman number, though. Who was that? What an interesting group of players on the field here for Detroit. And throwing back across. Touchdown. I don't know how we're supposed to cover that. Too much time. Mike Williams, touchdown. Not really much we can do there, to be honest. Lions fixing to tie things up. See if we can take the lead before the half. We have two and a half minutes to do so. Very possible. 14-14. We're fading Drummond here. He might have a nice release on the outside. He's got big speed. Get it down the field, please. Give me more than eight milliseconds to throw the ball. Please. They sent heat there. I guess that's understandable. Drummond had a touchdown if we could have just had the time to get him the football. I'm gonna make that kind of like a swing screen. Bijan, we'll take that. Do we need to heavily invest in the offensive line? I feel like not having enough time to throw the ball is consistently a problem, as that is the two-minute warning. Tried to snap the ball. I like the play on the field. It was, a, I think, some type of levels concept where Bijan was running a table. We can kind of recreate a similar look here where Bijan really is the first guy I'm going to look to go to. Reading the right side of the field, so if London or Pitts comes open, whatever, but I like the right side of the field. Madsen wide open, catches the ball this time, and we get the first. Play action, they're blitzing the slot corner. We're going to check down to Madsen, but he's got big time speed for a tight end. Greg Newsom's got to be careful on the outside because Madsen really can turn the corner and run by you if you're not expecting it. He ends up knocking him out of bounds, not enough space. But I think I see a mismatch. Madsen up the middle of the field. Jack Campbell does have really good speed. But we're going to split these safeties one way or another. We have three streaks on the field. Somebody's going to end up coming open. Going deep for Drummond. It's underthrown and intercepted because there's pressure. Lance ends up on the ground. It's the rookie or second year player sheet out of Alabama. You got to be kidding me, dude. Every time we try to throw more than two yards down the field... It's instant pressure. God, not instant on that time, but Will is just hold on for a second longer. So frustrating. Need to step up in the pocket there, obviously, but I'm not looking at the pocket. I'm looking down the field. Ugh, man. The O-line is killing me today. That's a four-man rush. Just, just do your job for two and a half seconds, and I think we have something. Two and a half seconds, that's all I'm asking for. Third and ten, final minute to play here in the first half. They are going to run the ball. Still more Derek Watt. We're going to call a timeout. We get the ball back, a minute and 11 seconds. Let's bounce back from that interception and find the end zone. A minute to do it. We can guarantee a good return here. We have one of the most electric return men in the game. Rashid Shahid. Good hang time on that punt. Can't get past the 32. Like, do we need to keep in Bijan to block? Is that the s solution? That coverage was way better than expected. Quentin Drummond, though, does not manage to get out of bounds. Try a slip screen. They have a lot of athletes on the field. It's tough to uh, really get yards after the catch. And, I mean, look at that play. We're going to call a timeout. That's unbelievable. I mean, credit to them for making a nice play, but we have blockers out there. Our numbers are insane. Nobody picks up a good old Greg Newsom who comes in and levels Bijan. I mean, that's a 40-yard play if Newsom just gets taken care of. That's it. Third and five. Instant rollout. Throw on the run. Quentin Drummond. Big time play. We're going to be forced to call a timeout. I want to give London a shot. Throw it down the field. We have size! London can't reel it in. Kind of playing for a field goal at this point because we only have 25 seconds to go. A play over the middle I don't think is a good idea. Right? Now, we could try to get out of bounds. Good route from Pitts. Okay, things have changed. Massive play inside the 10. 21 seconds to play. Block not moving. Just can't really afford to take a sack. Running the ball is dangerous. 
I, I think it's probably a bad idea. Probably a bad idea to run the ball. I like Pitts. Inside! Touchdown! Kyle Pitts. Way to end the first half in style. We needed that. It's just the momentum factor. It's the, it's the confidence that a play like that and a drive like that will build. We throw an interception. We bounce back and take the lead. When Trey Lance has time, the offense moving the ball down the field is not even a question at all. When we have two seconds to get rid of the football, it's bad. Because we're throwing the ball anyway, and we get throw out of sack picks. We get under pressure and accurate. Bad stuff happens. O-line, you gotta step up in the second half. We have a lead, but barely. We're gonna hold that lead, but the Lions get the football to start the third quarter, so they can even it up in an instant. Play action? No. Why is Derek Watt the focal point of the offense? The Lions are gonna try a field goal from the 41-yard line. Do not jump offside. This is a huge kick. Pick up. Had the leg. Does not have the accuracy. And there is one second remaining. Who is the kicker? Is he a rookie or something? I mean, he had the distance to drill. Just did not have the accuracy. And we could try and take a shot to the end zone here. I think our best bet is like something underneath and then run after the catch just get blockers downfield if they blitz we're in trouble we're gonna throw out for Bijan I know that's crazy but it's nearly caught but incomplete that's the first half a very interesting first half Derek Watt played a lot for some reason we need more time give me throw it deep and defend the inside run Apparently, Jameer Gibbs is the guy, but it's been a lot of Derek Watt here in the first half, especially that second quarter, and we actually get the football to start. Why did I think Detroit did? Okay, that puts us in a way better position. I'm a little all over the place and a little frazzled. That's okay, though. That's okay. We just need to settle down, move the ball down the field systematically and effectively. Showing a double mug look. If we can just get to the outside here. Nope. Aiden Hutchinson. Nice play. Third and 13. I mean, that's the way you take the wind out of our sails for sure. Just streak everybody. I mean, it's obviously a zone defense. Drummond is uncovered. Something good's going to happen. I think Drummond's going to be wide open. I don't know why they choose not to cover him, but Quentin Drummond is hurt. We can't have nice things, dude. Rookie at LSU jogs to the locker room. That is a game-ending injury. Probably. Hopefully not much longer than this game if we're able to win. Having a player like him really stresses the defense. A lot of speed. Got a decent backup in Rashid Shahid, though. But I like Drummond. As Bijan is just going to be probably unstoppable here in the second half they're not really containing very well when we run these outside runs outside zone just killing them right now broken ribs for Drummond Rashid Shahid will be the replacement but that is a big loss down the stretch here because that's probably almost certainly going to miss the conference championship if we're able to win this game and that's a maybe for the Super Bowl if he heals quickly it's not great. Bubble screen. Shahid's one catch he has a game every every so often. Not even one a game. Maybe half a catch a game. Maybe less than that. Third and five. Step up, Lance! Oh, just not enough speed. That's okay, though. We didn't force the ball into traffic. 52 yards is well within the range of Young Way Koo. This is not even a problem at all for him. And with all the kicker abilities on him, accuracy not an issue at all. And it's nearly blocked. But right down the middle. It's a two-possession game now for Atlanta. Just what we needed. Is Ritter going to take off here? I mean, the middle of the field is wide open. Why wouldn't you? Get into the backfield. How is Derek Watt doing this? He's averaging 8.5 yards per carry. 8.6 to be exact. How? 
they, you know, said the Jameer Gibbs experiment is over. It's Derek Watt's time to shine. We just stepped right out of the lane there. I thought he was going to cut back. Uh, I don't know how we stop it. I don't know how we stop it. I'm going to let somebody else control Dylan Stanley. Maybe the CPU is able to shed a block uh, into the correct spot. It's a touchdown. David Montgomery into the game. Remember that he's on the team. Why is Tarek Watt playing so much? This is so stupid. It, this is classic Madden, though. Running into that block, but look at this. Missed tackle from Kyrie Yankee. AJ Terrell blocked out of the way. As Jamison Williams and David Montgomery share an intimate moment. And because we're expecting David Montgomery to cut off of Jamison Williams and not get blocked into him, we overrun it with Jesse Bates. We go where he would have been, but not where he was, because he wanted a little kiss for good luck from Jamison Williams. It's bullshit. Three-point game, Trey Lance retakes the field. Bijan, I need you on this drive. Show up and show out. Oh, we got good blocks. No, we didn't. Because we're not able to run through the hole there. Use the right trigger too early. I mean, the hole is wide open. Should we just walk through it? It's wide open. It's a time-sensitive sport, football. As we've seen. Bijan open. That's a first. Play action. Oh, look at the comeback route from London. Wide open. Lance from the opposite hash is able to deliver to Drake London. And that takes us to the end of the third quarter. We're in the lead. A touchdown here really solidifies, uh, solidifies you know, us being in the driver's seat. But field goal leaves the door open. A lot of time left, no question. And obviously, no point somehow would be devastating. But I don't think that's going to happen. Our offense is good. And he's great when it runs through Bijan. Play action. They don't even consider Bijan as an option. Bijan's eventually able to get not trapped on offensive linemen and released out into the flat where we hit him for the first down. Fifth catch on the ball game. If you want to go three down linemen, you're going to find out the hard way that, that, that that's a big mistake. Big mistake. Bijan, plenty of space. Easy. And now Aiden Hutchinson is down. Finally, somebody got to him. Bijan Robinson in the zone. Outside zone's been so effective today. We're going to cut this back, though, and look at the power. Bijan inside the 10, over 100 yards now in the game. Tackle made by Boone, and of course, these sprint outs have been effective for us down here in the low red zone. Going to work off play action. Maybe even just hit pits. We'll see if we can do that across the field. A little bit dangerous, but he's wide open. Lance on the run and on the money. Second touchdown of the game for Kyle Pitts. Had a bit of a down year compared to what he did the previous season. But two touchdowns today. He is certainly finding his groove here in the postseason. Plenty of time. I mean, that was the easiest thing we'll ever do. Sprint out, reverse it, and then find Kyle Pitts way open, working back across the design of the play. Ends up working out 31-21. Lions gonna have to get it moving here if they wanna stay in this ball game. Need a touchdown and they need one fast. I mean, it's unbelievable that Derek Watt is the best running back we faced all year. He's at 119 yards rushing. I mean, we keep going with man defense. I I'm surprised they keep running the ball. Under six minutes to play. The running, though, has taken them this far down the field. Quick throw. I don't know how we're supposed to beat that mesh concept. And then no one's tackling. Get to the outside, please. Dylan Stanley secures David Montgomery. Not exactly a picture-perfect form tackle there, but brought him down. I don't know, it looked like he farted on him. I don't know what the fuck just happened there. Second and 10 from the 28. They're not going to continue to run the ball, surely. No, it's play action. Oh, that's just wide open. I mean, it's it's Jack Campbell. It's their starting middle linebacker in at tight end. Dude, the progressive fatigue is really, really hitting the Lions right now. Backups all over the place. I mean, we saw a lineman play tight end earlier, maybe. Now they have a linebacker in at tight end. Although Jack Campbell has got tight end size. He's 6'5", 250. He's not light. 
Good defense from Terrell. The idea of that being an interception did cross my mind. We'll take the bat down, though. It's not a touchdown. Under pressure. Somebody get to Ritter. Fires back across an incomplete. Okuda was there. Still a uh, still. Dylan Stanley! Stop trying to say Stillin. Lions are going to have to try a field goal. Th that's the right move. It brings it back to a one possession game. But any points from us, and the game might as well be over. Oh, this is going to be a nice play. No, Jack Campbell can do it all! That might have been a touchdown saving tackle. I kid you not. There was open space. George Espinosa leading the way. Great block. Because we were going to go outside Drake London there. We might have had a like, great timing on the safety rotating over in Kirby Joseph. Or even if, he, if he's able to go around this block, that's one-on-one -on -one with Bijan in the open field. That's a recipe for disaster if you're Kirby Joseph. I can't, I can't even overstate how big of a tackle that was from Jack Campbell. And there's a good representation of what can happen when you let Bijan Robinson escape. Two minute warning, final stretch here. We are two minutes away from a conference championship appearance. Keep it on the ground. Bijan, probably never gonna spin again. They're stacking the box, begging for us to pass. We're gonna keep the ball on the ground. Oh, good blocks. Bijan stay in bounds though. That works. Run up the middle. Bijan. First down and more. He takes a big hit. But this one, I think, is mathematically over. Zero timeouts, a minute and 46 seconds to play. Could be done. Bijan has fumbled the football. You've got to be kidding me. Bijan has put the ball on the ground with a minute to play. What are you talking about? They 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 had me running halfback dive instead of the knee. Bijan, what are you doing, dude? Running up the middle. There's a minute left. He's ripped the ball out. Oh, you can't fumble there. Overturn it. Please, overturned, we keep we keep possession. You thought, you thought, there is a timeout though. Andrew Van Ginkle was injured and that's kind of bullshit. Clock really should be moving. Run the ball and there will be time left on the clock. Field goal, it's a two possession game. Young Way Koo's kick is good. It didn't slow down for some reason. I almost missed that for real. I don't know why it didn't slow down. But that should be it. 19 seconds. Down by 10. No timeouts. They need an absolute miracle. And then some. They're not going to get one. Ritter, what are you doing, brother? Five seconds to go. Again, miracle is not even strong enough of a word. Knockdown. Incomplete. Game over. The Lions are eliminated. The Falcons moving on to the NFC Championship. Dan Campbell comes up short again. Big win, big win, big win. I mean, quarterback play was up and down on this one. Good ratings. Completion percentage is kind of all over the place. Lance ended up figuring it out, 66%. Three touchdowns, of course, to that one pick, 228 through the air. Bijan Robinson, though, continues to be the story. 24 for 164. No touchdowns, though, for him is so rare. Derek Watt. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, and all of their running backs killed us, but Derek Watt in particular averaged 10 per carry. I mean, out of control. Receiving. A lot of just checking down or finding Bijan down the field sometimes. Drummond, broken ribs. That sucks. But overall, you know, we did enough. Dylan Stanley with a sack. Three tackles for loss as well. Three for Deshaun Humphreys. It was a big game. And we came out on top. Didn't play perfectly, but that's okay. We got the job done. We'll fix some things headed into the championship game here for the NFC next week. And then it's a Super Bowl. Just can't look too far ahead. Got to win the next game in front of us.
Rookie center Will Hart with an upgrade. Got to be pass protector here. Takes him up temporarily to a 74 overall with plus three pass block finesse. Takes it up to an 81. And then Rashid Shahid, we need you to be back. And uh, like you never missed a beat. Got to take the place of superstar rookie Quentin Drummond. He's been there before. I need him to do it again. And Quentin Drummond's season is over. He will miss the conference championship in any game after that. Broken ribs will take six weeks to recover from. We just don't have it. Battle of the birds again. NFC Championship. Eagles. Falcons. I'll see you next week. Take it easy.